KOB Eyewitness News 4 at 6. And tonight at 6, we begin with two more tragic examples of a devastating contributor to Albuquerque's crime nightmare. Teens and guns. In the case on your left, a teen allegedly pulled the deadly trigger. And in the other, that beautiful girl was doing amazing things in our community when she was killed by a stray bullet over the weekend. Police say a 17-year-old shot and killed his mother's boyfriend over the weekend in that first case, and it was all caught on video. They arrested 17-year-old Ruben Benavides yesterday, and today he faced a judge charged with first-degree murder and tampering with evidence. Spencer Schott listened in on that hearing, and Spencer Benavides is only 17, as we've said, but, but so far he's going through the adult process. Process here. That's right, Tessa. The DA's office confirmed because Benavides is being charged with a first degree felony, he will be tried as an adult. But because he is still a minor, the judge asked not to show his face today. State of New Mexico versus Ruben Benavides, T4FR, 2022 6303. As the judge called for Benavides' case to be heard, no one at MDC stepped forward. His defense lawyer explained. Who is appearing uh, via Zoom, but with his camera off, um, as discussed prior to the court. While we didn't see the 17-year-old today, he was still in court. And I just want to confirm, Mr. Benavides, you are online with us today, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. The state filed to keep Benavides behind bars until his trial. In their seven-page motion, they argued the teen is a danger to the public. According to the criminal complaint, on Saturday afternoon, a home surveillance camera captured Ruben Benavides and his dad, Raymond, walking up and kicking the door of a downtown apartment. The video shows Ruben's mom's boyfriend answered the door and immediately got into an argument with the teen and then spat on him. <laughs> Police say that's when Ruben fired two shots from his pocket then walked away with his dad. When he was later arrested, his dad told police they were just looking for his mom because they hadn't seen her for a week and they suspected she was smoking fentanyl with her boyfriend. The state says this video shows his willingness to intentionally shoot another person. And they go on to say there are no conditions of release that will keep the community safe. You will be held on a no bond hold. Your case is gonna be transferred to district court and a district court judge will be making a decision as to whether or not um, whether or not you stay in jail while this case is pending. That hearing will be held sometime in the next week. Thank you, Mr. Benavides. You're excused. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Now, I also reached out to the DA's office to see if there will be charging Ruben's father, Raymond Benavides, for his connection to this homicide. A spokesperson with the DA's office says they are working with APD to continue the investigation, specifically to see if any charges are viable against Raymond. As of right now, the only charges are against Ruben. And Spencer, this is not the first time this family has had some legal problems here. No, Tessa. Actually, back in 2019, Ruben's mom was arrested for aggravated DWI and child abuse after she rolled her Jeep with her, with her then 14-year-old son, Ruben, in the back seat. She admitted to police at the time that she was drunk, and her trial for that case is scheduled for the end of January. All right, Spencer, we'll see where we go next. Thank you.